Hi friends, I am sure you know about LM317 Adjustable Regulator. It's a very popular chip, but it comes with a drawback. It can only drive up to 1.5 amp in the best conditions, but we can boost the current uh, using a bypass transistor and a simple circuit. As you see, LM317 doesn't have a heatsink, but this bypass transistor has because the majority of current pass through this transistor. Now I can examine the circuit in practice and show you the results. This power supply can deliver up to 30 volts and 3 amps. Let me connect the voltage to the input. In the first step, I can examine the output voltage under no load to actually analyze the line regulation, okay? So I connect the multimeter to the uh, circuit output using these wires. Uh, the multimeter is on the voltage measurement. So let me connect this remaining wire and yep, 7 volt is the value that I had set before as the output voltage. Let me decrease it to show you the minimum output voltage that we can get out of this uh, current boosting circuit. So let me turn this potentiometer. The output voltage drops. 3, 2, and bingo, this should be the minimum, 1.23 volts. So let me go up again and show you the maxim maximum voltage that we can get. Of course, with attention to the input voltage that is around 12 volts. But the minimum is always the same, is around 1.23 to 20, 1.25 volts. 8, 9, 10, uh, it goes up a little bit tricky here, hmm. 10.7, turning, 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 10.8, all right, this should be the maximum voltage that we can get around 10.9 volts. So let me come back and put this at 7 volts and check the circuit for line regulation. Line regulation means how stable is the output voltage in front of the uh, input voltage variation, okay? So let's come back to 7 volts. For instance, this is an example you can test for other voltages as well. Okay. Uh, seven point, and yes, Bob's your uncle. So let me take, increase the input voltage from 12 to 30. And please check the multimeter screen, okay? If this is a good regulator, we should not see any changes, or the changes should be minimal. You see, it is 30, but still the output voltage is identical. 7.05. Eight was low, so nine is okay. Still, the voltage, output voltage remain intact. So this shows this circuit has a good line regulation. So let's test it with some loads. For this purpose, I have prepared three 10 watt resistors to be used as a load, with different resistance, of course. This one is 4.70, oh, this one is 3.30, and this one is 2.2 ohm, okay? I will mount them one by one on the breadboard and check the output voltage. I will start with 4.7 ohm, this one. This is actually a simple load regulation test. It means how much the output voltage varies in front of different loads. And let me connect this probe and the output wire. Alright, as you see, the output voltage dropped around 10 millivolts and the load consumes around 1.5 amp. No warm up on the transistor and nothing on LM317. 
and the resist oof, it's so hot uh, now I'm gonna change it with another one to check a higher current now it's the time to go and select another resistor this one 3.30 let me mount it on the breadboard and make proper connections this one to the multimeter another probe and output wire all right as you can see it draws around 2.2 amp and the output voltage has not changed that much so the variation is very low uh, no warm up on LM317 before this resistor gets very hot I gonna change it with another one Oof, it's still hot okay this one 2.20 uh, it should draw the maximum current alright as you can see it draws around 3.2 amp and the voltage dropped to 6.87 this result is fair in comparison with the current boosting that we can get out of this circuit and of course this is not a maximum current but unfortunately my power supply cannot deliver higher than this if you have a more powerful supply you can examine the circuit using that I don't see that much heating on the transistor and of course nothing on LM317 a little warm up on the transistor it's not that much for the next step I plan to measure the output ripple uh, using the oscilloscope so let me turn it on like that and put this multimeter aside I can feel the resistor is very hot so I gonna remove the connections and this wire uh, so can I touch this hot resistor let me see Ooh. if like that ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay that's enough we got right of that for the next step I plan to check if there is some ripples on the output so I will put a load for example this 4.7 of resistor on the output and I will examine that using the oscilloscope as you considered from the beginning I have built this circuit on a prototyping board however if you plan to design a PCB layout for this project you can use the Symaxis component libraries these libraries are free and follow industrial IPC footprint standards there are two options to install the libraries you can use a CAT plugin or you can download them directly from the components searchengine.com okay in the meantime I found the oscilloscope probe let me connect it and then go to the next step all right welcome back let me connect the input to the circuit as you can see it draws around one and a half amp with a 4.7 ohm resistor and this is the probe connection so let me attach this to the pin it's done let's go to the oscilloscope input type should be AC coupling like this bandwidth limit should be set on 20 megahertz did you see the effect the probe is already times 10 and the, from the accuracy menu I should select pick detect okay let's play with the volt division knob and set it on the minimum and then time division I don't see any special ripple just I can see some high frequency noises this is a natural phenomenon because I have built the circuit on a prototyping board and second I haven't removed the ground lead of the oscilloscope probe what I was looking for was powerful ripples which we don't see because this is a linear power supply but this high frequency noises can be removed if we build this circuit on a PCB board and then use a ground spring instead of that probes ground lead ok friends that's it Bob's your uncle don't forget to subscribe to not to miss a video catch you next time